I'm going to show you in this video how you can use Acrium and just I'll just walk you through the entire process. This is a great app for developers, but also you can use it for your personal usage, for your personal projects to track. You see here, second brave four, it's a personal issue, issue tracker. But as I said, you don't have to be a programmer or a developer. You can use it for personal projects as well. And I think it's quite helpful. You can also access your Jira issues, if I that's how you pronounce it. And Acrium, I think that's how you pronounce it as well. And correct me if I'm wrong, just go in the comment section. Now let's click on download here. And then here we have download for Apple Silicon. I'm gonna click on this. And I'll just download this. It's like it's downloading right now. So you have the also the app for Google Play and App Store. We also have a web version, which you don't want to install it. You can also use the web version, which is totally fine. You click here on web open a web app. But I'm just going to click on this one here so I can install it on my computer. And now, okay, I already installed it actually. Now I'm going to open it, Acrium, and just press enter. Now open. I like the the interface. I really like it. Very nice interface. I'm gonna sign up with Apple. I'm gonna click on here. After I logged in with um, with Apple, now we're gonna have we see these two options here. New value to start with a clean slate. Slate? I don't know I don't even know what that means. Wait a second. Wait a second, something, I'm uh, confused about something. Yeah, something here, something, something here. What means slate in my Romanian language? Oh, looks like I saved this word. <laughs> I came across this word one time later. So apparently I saved it, but I don't remember it didn't remember it so yeah I see I see so yeah I'm gonna start with this one here I'm gonna enter this uh, project create the value I'm gonna save it here continue without cloud because we don't enable cloud I'll just click on continue now for now you've got a free pro okay just enjoy 30 days of pro features 30 day of pro features sounds come like a pretty good deal to me. I mean, 30 days, it's not one day, it's not three days, 30 days, pretty good, pretty good. I like this. Now, I'm going to press command plus, uh, not this one, make templates, no. Command plus uh, this one here, uh, command plus um, not dot, the other one, uh, comma, I think it's called. So I'm going to go to appearance here. I'm going to change to this one, which I don't usually like, but it's too dark in the room. So I'm going to make this so I can shine. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to change the color maybe to this one. Now here we can see preferences, which I'm not interested in right now. I can change something like to overview, to calendars and uh, notifications uh, labels templates templates sounds interesting go to templates so we can check some templates uh, here but there's no templates i don't know exactly but we can connect uh, github i think it's very helpful connect github if you are a developer to this uh, app now in my opinion why you should use this app in which scenarios well if you're looking for a personal issue track rolled into one with task manager 
and knowledge base. So it's really this is also an open source application. And how does it work? Well, Acrium uses Markdown for creating and formatting notes and tasks. It allows a feature that if you're looking for this feature, it is available on this app. It allows linking between notes, integrating with project management tools and keeping all the information organized. It is free to use, as you can see, there's some features that if you want, you can go with the pro version. And also something uh, to remember, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, is that Acrium stores all your data on your on your device. Actually, we selected the location, right? It's not through server, you know. Now, what are the pros? The, the pros are it's free to use, integrates with dev tools, which if you are a developer, it's a bonus. If you're not a developer, still like the interface looks nice, easy to manage. You see here active all pages. I can create a new page here. It looks like, I mean, doesn't look like it, but it reminds me of Notion just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. I mean, here you're gonna enter the no the title, how to know what are the what are the pros and cons of Acrium. Then here you can type commands, which again reminds me of an app task. I need to look at the wall. I don't know what I'm writing here. Okay, you use uh, this this command and yeah, you can insert image template wherever you want equation, which I don't know how to do any equations for now. And I won't do any equations there. You can um, now I do what I don't like. What are the counts? It's easy to use and it's great for developing local storage. I think it's a pro for me. Now the cons, in my opinion, is that you have kind of like not that many features compared with other other apps, productivity apps, and the features are or the base, not the search kind of like it's a little bit basic you have the search here but hmm, it's not that developed but i haven't used it that much to be quite honest is not that i've used it you know I'll, I'll update you make sure you subscribe on this app i'll keep using it i like that you can highlight this you know you can highlight the text here you can link a text here not highlight sorry and sorry and if you highlight, you can change the paragraph color to, let's say this color, and then I can change this. Okay, change the color, underline, and if you want to strike through. Yeah, so I like that we have inline code, nice. Now, can you... Does it have like a app? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've showed you like in on their website, they do have. What case questions you might have? I'm just thinking. I don't, rem don't have any off the top of my head or. Um, yeah, no, I don't remember any questions. Now, if you have more questions, leave your questions down below. Now, for a programmer, is this really useful? To capture notes, uh, notes and tasks without interrupting your workflow, well, really provides QR shortcuts for quick capture of ideas and tasks, allowing you to stay focused on your coding. So if we click Clement and this, we can click on here, appearance, not on appearance, I'm sorry, but um, if I'm here, I'll, that's fine. Okay, so here we have the sidebar and then here we have 
key binds and we can see open Jira app, open GitHub, open search command plus K. You can search, of course, record a different one. I like to look for the ones that okay. This one is command uh, shift space. So let's say I'm working and I need to take a screen, uh, quick screenshot. Command okay. I just forgot the what was the this is the raycast. Sorry, so it is command shift okay. And capture my day. Capture. Okay. First work. My day. You can add a new page. Capture. Okay. In progress. Active my day. First work. Yeah, so it's going to add it here. If you have some ideas, that's great. Share your ideas as a developer. You may be thinking of a way to fix a problem. This can come very handy. If you have more questions about this app, let me know in the comments section because off the top of my head, I don't have or I don't remember having more questions, but I'm going to uh, maybe answer questions uh, related to related relating to programming because I thought of some how programmer developer can use this track this app this productivity so you want to stay organized of course so yeah using this you can create a new folder new project new view you see new view here and you can enter view here for work save and you're gonna have this new view here another thing that you can create a new project new project but now you might ask what's the difference between a new project and a new view well well the the difference you can see you can the difference is pretty straightforward so new view and create a view of pages with specific properties in a new project folder you can see here what uh, what's the difference this is just a folder but with new view you can create a view of pages with specific properties and if i click on this and i click on this icon here we have uh, show tasks uh, we have some display some properties status updates maybe and uh, created links and uh, here we have the group by or sort by and yeah now let's create a new project. We can create a new project here and or a new folder, which is going to be added here. Now, if you drag like this, you can move up and down, which is something very common on a lot of productivity app. This can be very easy to move around. Now, you can't really drag, I mean, you can't, you just can't, you not really. Uh, you can drag like this folders and pages all in one because it shouldn't even work doesn't make sense like let's say projects would make sense but doesn't work but you can uh, edit the project archive and delete you can right click and open a new tab which I do like this function you can uh, sidebar settings and here you have uh, sidebar and we can record views in sidebar active all pages can move this up maybe so when we click on here we have we can see the options and of course here it just to edit the project but uh we can edit the project more of here and we can also split right which is nice if you work on two projects or we just need to work on two on two projects yeah and you like to have them both on both sides now you can also do this with disabled views, sidebar on active, on all pages, sidebar settings, and sidebar settings pretty much is the same. Now add page, and that's pretty much it. Now if you have more questions, leave your questions down below. I'll answer your questions, and if you find this helpful, leave your questions down below. And I'll create a part two if you have more questions. So thanks for watching, and take care.